A major focus of our work at the Glaucoma Center of Excellence here at Johns Hopkins Wilmer has been to understand how people are disabled by glaucoma and eventually to rehabilitate them, not only by preventing them from losing further vision, but also by making them more functional with whatever vision they may have left. Much of this work has come from patient volunteers who have agreed to be in our studies and who have agreed to do some of the testing that we've required of them. Specifically, we've actually studied how mobile people are in their normal daily life. And so we've taken devices that are used for research as well as for commercial purposes, such as an accelerometer, which is a fancy pedometer which measures how physically active you are and how many steps you take, or a cellular tracking device which measures where you go and how much time you spend away from home. People who have substantial visual field loss in both eyes, we found that they walk roughly one-third as much as an individual who has normal vision. We've also looked at whether people with glaucoma leave their home less, and indeed, we found, are twice as likely not to leave their home on a given day. This not only illustrates the impact that glaucoma has on the individual, but also give us, gives us concrete metrics and concrete goals for things that we ought to be rehabilitating in individuals with glaucoma. How can we encourage them to walk more and to be more physically active, yet at the same time be safe? We've also looked at how glaucoma affects reading. We found that individuals with glaucoma read significantly slower, but that you can't capture this by the tests of reading that have normally been used. It's really captured in how somebody reads a book over a long period of time. And indeed, we have made our own book to test how somebody might sustain their reading over 20 or 30 minutes in a silent fashion. So the next step is, again, how can we rehabilitate this? In what way can we make books better? Can we make text better? so that these tasks, which are so important to everyday life, can be done more efficiently and more easily. We're not simply interested in diseases here. We're interested in the people who have these diseases and making them as healthy, as happy, and their quality of life as high as possible.